Hello everyone, welcome to eDraw Max. In this video, we are going to learn how to draw a three bedroom floor plan using eDraw Max. Before we begin, let us understand what is a floor plan. A floor plan is a drawing with scale sizes that displays the position of rooms, equipment, and furniture viewed from above. Let's start drawing the three bedroom floor plan. First, go to the file menu and click new to display a list of different diagram categories. Scroll down and select building plan and create from scratch. On the left pane, you will see the symbols library. And on the right pane, you will find options to edit the properties of these elements. In the bottom middle section, you will find a ready-made color palette to color the floor plan. So let's get going with our floor plan by dragging a shape from the wall, shell, and structure stencil onto the drawing page. You can resize the room shape by dragging the selection handle. Make use of connecting walls to create irregular structures based on your requirements. Drag the outer wall shape onto the drawing page. You can resize walls by dragging an endpoint. To connect two walls, you can drag an endpoint of one wall to another wall. The endpoints turn square when the walls are glued. Intersections between two walls will be automatically cleaned up. Now let's add doors to the walls. From the doors and windows list, select and drag any door shape of your choice onto your drawing area. Position the doors by attaching them to either external or interior walls. You can flip the doors open or shut them by clicking and moving the rotate button on the door shape. At this moment, I'm building a kitchen. I'm dragging and placing a gas stove, refrigerator, cabinet, and sink from the kitchen and dining room list. Let's enable more options from predefined libraries. So to enable them, go to the Symbols tab, and from predefined libraries, scroll down and choose Floor Plan and enable the required features you want. They will appear in the libraries on the left pane. Now I'm building an office room. From the library of tables and chairs, I'm adding a desk, chairs, and a bookcase to the room. Now I'll move on to building a master bedroom with attached bathroom. I'm adding a sink and toilet to the bathroom. Now I'm adding the double bed, followed by a wardrobe and dressing table from the library, and I'll arrange them as I need them. Similarly, we will continue to build the next bedroom per our requirements. Now it's time to build the living area. I'm adding an L-shaped sofa followed by a tea table and a TV. Like the other two bedrooms, I'm building the guest room accordingly. Now I am building a common bathroom by placing a sink, toilet, towel rack, corner bath area, and a cabinet. Let's add a dining table to the dining area. Now I'll place some plants in the entrance and in the office room. Then I'll place the shoe rack beside the main door. Now it's time to add some colors to the floor plan. 
This video has been all about drawing a floor plan using eDraw Max. Hopefully you can see how easy it is. Thanks for watching. Download eDraw Max using the link in the description and draw your own floor plan quickly and easily. As always, to get the most out of eDraw Max and all of its great features, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more great videos like this one.